am, but some of you still don't. And if you don't, uh, connect with me on Facebook. It's facebook.com uh, forward slash Lee 17 You can find me, um, you know, befriend me, because I know still a lot of you that still know me still haven't befriended me. I don't know what that's all about. So go ahead and um, uh, do that. Again, that's dot facebook.com forward slash Jun Lee, that's J-U-N-L-E-E, 17. And don't ask me what the 17 means. It's just, oh. I had no choice. So it has, it has no meaning. But it's amazing how many people ask. So guys, tonight, uh, before we get started, let me just introduce myself. Um, but, well, again, my name is Jun Lee. Um, I have a surgical PA background in orthopedics and sports medicine. Um, that is my degree. Um, I've been doing that for a little over 18 years now, alongside of, of many other things. And I got to work with some amazing, amazing doctors, uh, actually internationally. Um, I was a business um, and medical consultant out in South Korea for many years. And because of that, I got to meet a lot of, um, you know, very interesting people from executives in Korea, from executives from Germany, India, from Saudi Arabia, you know, because South Korea has become this really international port now, and and so they're doing so well. And, and I think almost everybody on this line probably switched out from a Sony TV back in the day to a Samsung TV. Maybe so, or you, maybe you have an LG TV in your um, in your house. And so I got I was very lucky to work with some top doctors out there, um, um, top doctors um, here in the states. I did my rotation to the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. And so I got to do um, uh, and got a lot of experience in that. I also have a very long, interesting background in the martial arts, which some people know me about, uh, you know, know me of that. Um, you know, I still don't think I'm that good. I've, I've been doing it for over 30 years, but, um, you know, I think over the years I, I, I just learned to become a student still. You know, I, I never really considered my mas- you know, myself a master in that. And I think in this industry, which I'm going to talk about tonight, in network marketing, um, we, we tend to want to be the experts in something too soon. And I think uh, this is going to be a good call for, especially for those of you that are brand new, and you come across these, object- uh, these objectives that uh, people are going to ask you, and also questions that it's going to make you feel uncomfortable. Um, and maybe you don't know the medical question behind it, but I'm going to let you guys know tonight, you don't need to know anything about medicine uh, to share Vita Divina products. So we're going to talk about that tonight, and this is going to help so many of you uh, overcome that uncomfortable part. I'm sure every single one of you, of you have uh, come across that before, where somebody's asked you, well, what is it? You tell them, and they say, well, what is that ingredient? And then you try to tell them what it does, right? And then you kind of start clustering and you start going through all these things. Yes. Oh, that somebody was asking me a question. And, and you know, you, you get flustered a little bit and you don't know how to answer it and then you try to avoid it and, and, and you don't get the sale because, first of all, you're going to come off really unconfident in that situation. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, James, can you stop sharing your screen? There you go, thanks. Um, I might have to learn how to shut that down. I think I get too many people of power over over the system. That's okay. Things happen. Um, anyway, so we're going to talk about that, but we're also going to talk about, um, you know, what things not to say on websites and, and, and things not to do with flyers and... And we're going to go over a lot of really cool things today. And so, um, and I, that really helped my team in the past and my team now. And we go through these types of trainings and, and really what to do and what's the next step, how to get some customers. And we're going to go through a lot of that. And then what I'm thinking is, since we have so many people on here, we're completely maxed out tonight. Um, I'll take a few questions from some people, but not everyone, because if we did that, then we would be here four or five hours. I would love to do that. But we None of us all have that time. And so I'm going to try to keep this as brief as possible. But also, I want to do some fun stuff with you and give you some fun, interesting facts about some of our products. 
Um, and I think this will help. So I think the first place, I'm going to start with is some regulations and rules, because these days, the FTC, the FDA, all these government uh, um, agencies are really cracking down on what we can say and what we can do with herbal products. Now, I'm not going to get into the political realm of medicine tonight, um, because I've been on both sides of it. I can prescribe medication. Um, I've had to uh, prescribe hard narcotics before, and it's, it's funny how I really want to gear them towards natural remedies in America, but it's absolutely not allowed, okay? Um, and so in Korea, we, we're, you know, the first approach is herbal medication. The last resort is um, hard um, pharmaceutical drugs. And so I love that approach because a lot of people heal faster, and, and, and I want you guys to understand the word heal and not cover up, okay? And in our industry, what we're doing is we're helping people heal and prevent. These are two really huge, important factors uh, of, is that we're helping people heal and we're also helping them prevent. And prevention is going to, for those of you that are really going to build a customer base, okay, with these products, is that prevention is you're hitting a whole new market. Okay, you're hitting a whole new market. If we all just asked ourselves one question, we would all ask ourselves, well, who should I go after? And everybody's answer is, I'm going to go after the people that are overweight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to seek out the people that are sick. Right? And so this is, these are the type of people we go after. Well, there is millions and millions of people out there that are completely healthy but are always in prevention mode. And so you don't think they buy products? Sure they do. They buy uh, GMC stores, the nutritional stores. They're, they're going to every health and farmer's market out there. They're buying products, okay? And, and we're, for some reason, intimidated by that. We're intimidated to talk to those people because in our mind, they don't need our product. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Every single person needs our product, and this is extremely important. So for those of you that walk away tonight, don't forget about that whole side of the industry, okay? You know, because uh, we, we're so afraid to go in and talk to a health store mom-and-pop shop owner, okay? We're, we're afraid to talk to somebody that's skinny and looks stiff. You have no idea what's going inside on the inside of them. You have no idea, right? And even if they are fit, they love prevention. They love prevention. So that word prevention is a really good word that you could use, hint, hint, to a very healthy person, okay? All right? Because they love to continue. Now, what is something that we can say, because I know there's a lot of males on this line tonight as well, and so what can we do what can we do or say to males? Well, we'll cover a little bit of that tonight because it, it, it seems like we go after just one niche of people, really overweight people. That's a good place to start, but a lot of times you'll find the people that are preventing and can afford products can afford products and products over and over and over and over again. Isn't that true? Okay? And so we're missing out on the, the residual, the true residual customer that can afford buying huge amounts of products from you every single month, okay? Now, don't get me wrong, there's people that need it as well, and we need to go after them. So I want to just make sure that everybody, um, you know, is on the playing field, and we're covering the whole 100 yards of the football field, okay? We're not just playing in the end zone, and there's a whole other yard of people out there that we could be hitting, okay? And so, for t and I'm going to show you a few slides, and we're going to go through some uh, some few vocabulary that I like to use, and one of the products that we're going to start with is um, with a tea tonight, and then we'll, I'm going to cover the factor divina, I'm going to probably go over a little bit of the capsules, and then end it tonight with the coffee, um, And because I think a lot of people really don't really know a lot about the ingredients, even in factor divina, do you? Because I know there's some things that are translated there, it's all of it's Spanish, some of it's English, so we need to get to the to the part that you guys truly understand, and we'll go through there. Okay. Um, hold on, just one second. Okay. Let me just bring this over. I'm going to share my screen, and for those of you that can see my screen, just go ahead and nod up and down. 
everybody can see my screen. Can someone just jump in real quick and say yes? Just uh, because once I share my screen, I only see like five people. I won't be able to. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this T here, and I'm going to bring it up so you can see it in full view. There you go. All right. Now, what I like to tell people when I'm talking about the tea, because one of the things I don't like to use is the word detox, even though it's on the bag. Okay, don't get me wrong, it's on the bag, but I don't like to use it. People relate to you, they relate to you personally, they trust you, and they like what you say, uh, they, you know, they like you personally, whatever the fact is. Um, you know, those things are not going to be so much of a factor, but the moment you open your mouth, things can go either south or they can go good for you. Okay? And one of the things that we did in a study, especially back in the last company that we did and other companies that had a uh, detox product, okay, is that we noticed that um, there's going to be a lot of people that tell you, well, I don't need a detox. Or there's a, there's a time frame where they will only detox once a week, so they're only using the product once a week. Or, you know what, I'm only going to use this product after I eat something really bad. You know, so there's always these little things that are keeping people from the residual buy back of a product. So I like the word, use the word filter. I like to use the word filter. It helps filter out your organs. It, it filters out your um, insides, whatever. Keep it simple. You don't need to know medical words. And on the screen here, you can um, see that I've put together something I say over and over and over again. It, it just helps, this key helps you lose weight naturally. It helps with you, um, you know, with your overall health, and it helps prevent future illness and diseases, plus much, much more. Okay, and if you want to know more, here's where you can go, and here's the ingredients. And if you have a good flyer that has the ingredients of the tea on it, they can go to PubMed.shove and, and put that in and get all the medical uh, information there. Okay. Now... Now, for me, I'm only using this as a resource tonight. I know there's um, some regulations out there with some companies and some people have personal issues with the, FT, uh, the FDA coming at them if they're relating the company to a resource. And tonight, I'm just showing you on a flyer um, that resource. So don't, don't take that out of misunderstanding there, okay? Now, when we're talking to people one-on-one -on -one and we're sharing a story, Whatever you tell them in that story is okay as long as you don't put in words that it will cheer, it will do this, it will. I know for a fact it will. We cannot be saying phrases like that. This is extremely important that we don't do those kind of things. And so here's the best thing and here's the easiest thing that I learned is that we need to send people to a productive video or a resource where it can explain what the product does. Okay, um, and this will avoid the expert part of you coming out, wanting to be the expert, okay? And I know so many people that just, you know, went that route that really struggled, that went the route of trying to be the expert all the time when they were not, well, they really, really struggled in the field because remember, we're dealing with something, guys, that can change people's lives. These products are very potent, they work, and but we need to understand a little bit about these products and these ingredients. So you need to study up a little bit, but you don't need to be an expert in it to sell a product. Because it would be like it would be like asking a Pepsi distributor, "Well, what is in Pepsi?" You know the ingredient, and he's just going to look at you and go, "I don't know. I, I'm just a distributor." If you want info on what's in the cola, go to the website. The, this is exactly what will happen, and this is how you need to be when you're talking about products out in the field. It, and, and that's just one uh, really good advice that I want to give you guys, is that if you give it away to a third party or somewhere else where they can find info, well, then you're going to have a better result, and, and your confidence will stay there. But if you try to be the expert and you can't answer the question, things will start going south for you very, very fast. So I like to use, it'll help you lose weight naturally, helps you with your overall health, and it helps you prevent future illness and diseases, okay? And the reason why I like to prevent, it's a lot of you 
want to just use the, uh, the word prevent is because I, like I mentioned before, we get to hit the the other half of the industry that we're not hitting usually um, when we're out there in the field. Now, the other thing about this key that I want to really express, and and this is just my you know my opinion and my experience, but however, we have to be really careful of not over exaggerating what this key does. We got to be extremely careful again to not over exaggerate what this key does because what it does with us and how we share our story is going to be extremely important on the residual buyback of the product from customers. So we always have to be above board. Um, remember, this key is not going to uh, this key is not going to in regular use and normal use is not going to cause people to go have diarrhea. So now, so what we don't want to do, and here, and, and again, this helped me a lot in my team before, and, and the sales rose incredibly between this, just this one thing, is that we don't want to scare customers from them using the tea. Now, we've, I know for a fact that a majority of you on this line tonight, okay, a majority of you guys on this line tonight, have already experienced this part of the tea where you heard about it and then you come and you know what? If it's that powerful, I'm going to wait until Saturday to take it. Well, if you want people to buy it from you and take it and get an experience right away, you want them to take it right away. So we don't want to scare them and say, oh my God, you know, this tea, it's so powerful that um, it, it's just going to make you go to the bathroom. You know? And then that one little phrase or sentence is going to keep them from they might buy it from you, but they're not going to use it right away. But we want people to use it right away and get their experience right away because that's absolutely, an overall, majority of the people, that's not going to happen to them. Okay? Now, if they make the tea wrong, like I had a friend that took the tea bag and just made like maybe a cup and a half or maybe two cups of it concentrated, he drank that, and of course, that you're going to have an um, a extremely, you know, <laughs> different result from drinking it normal, okay? And so we don't want to scare people away. We want to get them to use it. Yes, it's powerful. It's going to give you natural bowel movements, and I'm going to use that medical term, okay? Um, and, and so if you are starting to go regularly, this is great. Now, a lot of people might say, well, you know, I've heard some people say um, I had stomach pain, um, and some people will relate that to gas. Now, some of that sometimes is true, but sometimes people will react because we're drinking tea. Uh, it's too concentrated. There's, you know, there could be a few different factors. It, it's too concentrated, or um, we're drinking it before we eat food. And for some people that have sensitive stomachs, um, this is one of the questions I would ask my customers. Do you have a sensitive stomach? And I'm just saying because sometimes herbs can, um, you know, irritate your stomach if you don't eat it with food. And some people are like, yeah, I have a really sensitive stomach. I can't even drink apple juice on an empty stomach. Like, ask yourself, how many people in this call tonight can drink apple juice on an empty stomach? Some of you probably can. And so you always drink apple juice probably with food, and you're perfectly fine. And so this is to be one of the factors. Now, can this key cause gas? Absolutely. It can cause gas. And gas can cause stomach pain which some people will react to be a completely different thing, okay? And so that's why it's very important that you tell people if they're not sure, if you're not sure that they check this with their doctors to see if they can take this with whatever they have, if they're an unhealthy, if they're on other medications and so forth, okay? And so we always want to make sure that we're always providing that source for them and guiding them to that. And then also, as you know, as you can see on my flyer, I have a disclaimer to make sure to protect me. And now, some people would say that this doesn't always work, but it is um, um, it is one that comes actually from the FDA to put on product. And so this is something that I added, and all I added was my name and my publishing because I use it as an educational source, okay? As long as it's an educational source, and we're not making claims, this is going to be perfectly fine. And we can't be putting things on here on um, any type of claims. And this is, there are extreme.
extremely tight rules these days on that. And so many, so many companies uh, uh, leaving just because of that. So this is some of the things that we use. And then you can use this as a postcard. You can send it out and put your little you know, name uh, stickers from Office Max or whatever on these on the back of it, put your info on it, and hand them out as postcards. And you can get a lot of great sales that way. So I gave you a few little pointers on how that would work. Okay? So hold on just one second. I'm going to stop sharing just for a second. Um, I think somebody's texting me on here that has a question. Does anybody want to ask a question right now um, um, on the tee? And I'll just bring in a couple. Just uh, anybody have any questions? That this is going to be really tough. But um, let me just say, let me just see. Um, AJ James, do you have any questions? Since I see you kind of on the front. No, sir. Okay. Uh, Keisha, do you have any questions? Nope. I do, I do have a question. Okay, go ahead. All right. Is tonight's training recorded? It is. It is being recorded? Okay, thank you so much. I'm unable to see the slides, but we're listening. Oh, no problem. Yeah, if you can't see the slides, guys, or tonight, or if you missed something, don't worry, I am recording this, and I will post it with your leaders, and then we'll hand it out to you guys in, um, however they do it, in your groups or whatever like that. Okay? All right. Perfect. Flyers. What about flyers? The team flyers? Yes. We are able to get those? Uh, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we. Uh, the, here's the thing, guys. Anything that goes out uh, to be published, we have to get approved by corporate. Okay. Okay. And so the the council and us, we want to make sure that we're not putting out anything that can harm the distributors or the company. We want to okay. protect both people because we don't want anybody out there that doesn't know what they're doing and they get in trouble, right? Right. And then for those of you that have been in the industry long enough, you just know better. You know what not to say and what to do in that case. Right. Okay. All right. So let me go back and, and um, share my screen a little bit here. Now, the next thing, guys, while I get my screen up and running, the other thing that's really good is to pick out maybe one or two ingredients that you can talk about in your story that helped you because I like to always – bring out a couple things. For example, papaya is one of my favorite things to talk about because I really um, was involved in uh, developing a really great uh, skin um, cream that helps with psoriasis, and this is something that I've developed and, and been working on for years with a, a friend of mine out in South Korea. And papaya is one of the ingredients, and, and I'm sure a lot of people know a lot about papaya after you know being on this tea. A lot of you know that it's wonderful, wonderful for your skin, okay? And there's so much documentation behind that. And so when I like to, how I like to add it to my story. Now remember, we can't say papaya will help you get rid of psoriasis, okay? We can't say that. However, we can put it in our story where I can say, you know, listen, I I had really good results using papaya, um, you know, using papaya for my skin. And it really helped me relieve my psoriasis, like that. I can tell stories that's perfectly fine if you do it that way, but we can not. Like, and I'm going to repeat that quite a bit tonight, so that kind of sinks in, okay? All right, so just always take, like, one or two things. Just remember, you don't need to know everything. Just take one or two things that you're really comfortable with and that you can um, comfortably talk about. And so, um, anyway, um, yeah, I... I see that. Somebody was saying that uh, I guess the two numbers that are on the flyer were supposed to come to the same place, and we have two maxed out calls right now. So I apologize if there was any confusion there on the number. <clears throat> so that's always a good thing, though. We're recording, so this will all turn out just fine. So let me um, go do one more thing here. So, again, just a really quick, for those of you guys that are putting things out, just remember that if you do put anything together, just get it approved, um, and then that way you're safe in the field. All right, let's talk.
talk a little bit about Factor Davina. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've been in other companies. Uh, I've been in Tia Shinoni before. I've been in, um, man, I've been in a few other companies, actually, that have had um, uh, juice. And if you go off calling it juice, then it becomes just another grape juice. So with that said, I want you to listen to what I just said. If you call it juice, it's just relatable to any other juice on the market. There's, if you say juice, then there's no difference than orange juice or grape juice or blueberry juice, okay? People are going to relate it to that, and here's what happens. Why should I pay $60 for that when I can get it for $5.99 at Walmart for orange juice? We got to change the vocabulary around a little bit. So, you know, I like to say what this is, there's 36 superfoods in this bottle right now, which gives you incredible health benefits, okay? Well, what else does it do? Well, it assists with improving your immune function, okay? Helps with skin issues, prevents cavities, okay? Can I say that? Can I say it prevents cavities? Okay, probably not, okay? So that's why we're having this training tonight. Can, can I say it prevents cavities? Probably yes, probably not. See, these are questions that a lot of people are having, okay? And so, well, we can say that it can prevent illness and disease, so we can say it will help prevent cavities, okay? You cannot say it will prevent cavities. That's the difference, and this is actually all coming from the FDA policy um, thing on their website, all right? And so those are the kind of things that you want to be careful of, but those are the things, pick and choose a few things that um, this product can do. So use superfoods, don't use juice. Get that vocabulary out because this is so much more than that. And so if you lead into the conversation with the juice, then in their head they're related to any other juice that's in the market, and then when you tell them the price, the value of this product now just went down to five ninety nine. So we have to build value in every single one of our products. And when you're building building value, guess how you do that? You build value by giving them the benefit that they need after you've gone through a interview process with them. Okay, and I want to say that again, after you've gone through an interview process with them, so because a great salesman will always find out the needs of the customer, okay, not you just filling out a whole bunch of stuff. So here's a great advice for you guys. If someone says, well, what is it? You can simply say with confidence, well, first, tell me a little bit about you and, and what you need. What are you looking for in a health product? You know, find out what they want. This will help you lead into telling them, you know, and know what to say. Okay, it's very important to go through the interview process. This is also important when you're getting a new business partner to join, is to get them through that interview process. Do the same thing over here um, with your product. Now, let me just share with you guys a few uh, really fun facts. And I think um, you guys have seen the ingredients, um, both in Spanish and English. And so I'm going to just kind of clarify some things because I had a lot of questions that actually came to me this last week. And they asked me, you know, what is like the Dara Zamamora? You know, what is that? Well, I think that's Spanish just for black bear. Black bear. Okay? And so we want to make sure that we understand what we're telling them because if you're teaching them the Spanish version, well, you better know the English version. Otherwise, <laughs> you're going to start confusing people. Okay? So you could just say black bear if it's easier for you to say it in English. All right? And now... The other one that we have, and please correct me if I'm wrong, please correct me if I'm wrong, but we have um, in the Factor Divina, okay, uh, we have Olivera. Some people pronounce it Olivera, Olivera, okay? And this is a, a very good ingredient and has great health benefits, but it leads me into this tonight. Um, it does have side effects. If you consume aloe vera in very high doses, you can actually get diarrhea because there's a laxative in there. 
okay? And it's called antiquanone. Antiquanone. Antiquanone is a laxative that's in that plant. And if you eat too much of it in high doses, it can cause severe stomach pain. It can cause severe uh, gas. It can cause severe diarrhea and dehydration. Okay, that's a medical fact. So why, why am I saying that? A lot, of, a lot of times the question comes up, can we take too much herb? Yes, you can take too much herb. There's no such thing as t you can't take as much as you want and you'll be fine. That's, that's false. Okay? So, for example, if we know that there's chaga in the factor divina, if there's chaga in the tea and there's chaga and you're taking the capsules and then you're drinking the coffee, you better start measuring out the the amount of milligrams that you're taking because too much of something will cause the opposite of, um, of what it's supposed to do for you, okay? And so I advise things that are very highly concentrated like factor divina is that you add it to water or you add it to um, a, a smoothie or you add it to that so that way it balances out when you drink it. But you don't need to take 20 shots a day of it depending on the amount of that product that's in there, that ingredient, okay? And remember, it's a pretty high doses, but I know a lot of people will cut off, like, a, um, I don't know how many people on this call actually put it in their shakes, but it's actually pretty good. If you cut off about an inch of it, and that's about how much people use, but if you start putting, you know, half a leaf of that in, in your shake, that, you're going to cause issues, okay? So just be careful, be smart. Um, when people ask you, like, how much um, I should take, well, it should say right on the bottle, um, you know, two times a day on a, with, uh, with food or two times a day without food or it doesn't matter. And so it will say that. So always go by the guidelines and this will keep you in the safe zone. Now, how many of you guys on this line or had customers on the line saying, the stuff absolutely did not do nothing for me? I didn't feel anything. Now, for a lot of people, the tea, people reacted differently to it. Some people just had stomach pain. Some people, they didn't feel nothing. Some people had energy. Everybody reacted differently. Well, I've had actually a few people, quite a bit of people say, it didn't absolutely do nothing for me, okay? When you're in a business like this, here's two factors. Either you're not taking the product or, and you're just only in it to make money, number one, or two, you're not taking the product correctly, okay? And so, now some people, things like um, herbs and things just don't, they don't feel it. It might be doing a lot of good for them, but they might just not feel it. That's, that's normal, that can happen. Everybody's chemistry is different. But I actually had this conversation with somebody the other day, and I asked, uh, I interviewed him a little bit, and I said, well, hey, listen, can I just ask you some personal questions? He said, sure. I said, well, how much do you weigh? And he told me, and, and it was quite a bit, and I said, well, how much tea are you taking? And he goes, this much. And I go, well, that's not enough. you got to take more or you got to take it a little bit more concentrated. So we got to start teaching people to, when we're talking to them, hey, if I want you to take it at the, the rate that it says on the bag at a gallon, and if, it, if you don't really feel anything happening yet or a little bit after a day or so, I want you to make it a little bit more concentrated. And so you adjust it to your body. Okay, this is a really good phrase to tell people because if you don't want people to go, this product doesn't work, and, and then stop taking it, okay? We just need to adjust it to their body. And then I found out once we started doing that that a lot of people had started reacting to the product, okay? Now, is that true for every product in the market? No. But when we, ha when we know that this product works the way it does, guys, there's, and we're, for example, if we have four people come back to you out of ten saying, hey, this just didn't work for me, there's something wrong there, so you should investigate a little bit. Because you might get three of those people back as customers, okay? And customers love to feel special. They like to feel special, so follow up with them. And, and this is one of these things to keeping your uh, long-term customers. So adjust the product because, for example, if you're, if you're a 300-pound person, and you're only drinking that a couple times a day, eight ounce cups, that's gonna absolutely do nothing for you, okay? 
but if you're taking it a little bit concentrated, it's just like, um, you know, if, and it also other factors are if you're a drinker or if you're a smoker, especially if you're a smoker, sometimes products don't work for you because nicotine and the smoke that you're smoking will take out a lot of, will interrupt the oxygen intake to your cells. And so what's happening is that the products are trying to fight that, but they're not helping you, and so there's really no reaction. Okay, so a lot of times with people that are heavy drinkers or drink more often, they, they metabolize products differently. And so sometimes through interviewing, you'll find out exactly how much they should take and stuff. Okay, this education is necessary, in my opinion. All right, so that's, that's that. So Dr. Dubina, um, again, you don't need to know all the ingredients in this product. Okay, and I might have, I think, um, a few of the numbers wrong here because this was made a long time before yeah. And so, again, um, you know, make sure that you get all the facts, make sure that you get everything approved before you put it out. Now, another really fun um, little thing that I wanted to say, um, and I want to just check my notes because this was, uh, um, you, know the, you know the Indian gooseberry, do, do you guys know much about that? The, the Indian gooseberry, um, this was actually one of the ingredients I took during my treatment. And the reason why is because it gave me extremely high doses of vitamin C. And But not only that, it was a huge um, um, immune booster, okay? And, and that's what it's really known for. But it also um, does a lot of other things. Um, the documentation is a little limited, but let me show you something really cool. For those of you that can see me, and don't worry if you can't, I am recording this. But let me bring up my internet. I'm going to show you something really cool. And I have something already in here, and then I'll put gooseberry in here in a second. Hold on. Okay. See, look, for example, I'm going to put, I put in a different one of the ingredients that's in our tea, okay? And it's, it's pronounced A, it's pronounced acai, acai. Acai, okay? And if you put that into PubMed.gov and you put that in here, you'll notice here there's 195 documentations on some of the benefits you can do. Um, do. And also here, it, and if you read here, consumption of this rich acai meal is associated with acute improvements in vascular function, which I needed, okay? Um, reduction in total oxidative status and health overweight men. Okay, so it's really great for men. And, and so this would be a good one. So this is why I love this resource because you personally could go and learn a few little um, attributes on what this can do for you. Okay? Um, for example, I had a really good friend of mine that put in, put in chaga. If you put in chaga here, and don't put chaga disease. Chaga disease is actually a disease. It actually looks like chaga mushroom when you get it. A big old... Uh, Oh, ugly looking uh, skin thing that looks like chaga on your skin. You you become actually the tree. It's it's really disgusting actually. It, it's actually a real disease, chaga disease. But so don't put chaga disease. You want to just put in chaga, okay? And you notice there's not a lot of documentation on chaga yet because a lot of people are not well known. When back in the days when we we're just learning about chaga, there was only 30 here. So you'll notice that a lot of doctors and nutrition um, nutritionists and specialists are now starting to study this mushroom. And I know they're going crazy about chaga in South Korea now, and they're learning so much from it. And so you can go in here. Now, one thing though, guys, listen, 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 listen. We have to be very transparent about documentation uh, because we can't say things. I, I just heard this the other day, and I'm not joking. Someone said it, it, it actually rejuvenates DNA. Don't say that because that's absolutely not true. It does not rejuvenate DNA. So you need to learn a little bit more and study before you become the expert, okay? And so this is why sometimes you just need to stay away from that field and you need to direct it to a resource. Um, but here's the thing. If you get really good at just building value through benefit and interviewing, let me say that again. If you build value of a product through benefits and interviewing the person, you're going to sell a product over and over and over again. But if you have to sit there and try to convince someone that this product's gonna do something for them, you're gonna have an extremely hard time. Does that make sense? 
I hope that makes sense to everyone. Okay, so make sure that you, you're doing that. Anyway, this is a really good resource. I just wanted to show you that. And then, so let me go put that one that I was telling you about here. Asai, it's pronounced Asai. And let's just put that in here real quick. Look at that. So this one deals with um, digestive and um, intestinal issues, it looks like. And also, if you have any kind of irritation or colon issues, it will help with that. So just go look through here. Okay, so if you are personally going through that, maybe this is something that you need to do. Oh, and that re it reminds me, I was in the middle of trying to tell you that story about my friend. He put in chaga because he wanted to see if it would help with seizures. And there's actually a lot of studies now with uh, chaga helping um, with that, assisting with, uh, with that. So you guys should really look into it. Now remember, there's no definite documentation on that. There's some documentation, but it's not a definite um, thing. It's still a theory on, on that. Okay, there's still a lot of studies being done. Okay, anyway, so let me bring this back over here. So that's Dr. Davina. So don't call it a juice. Build the value of it. There's a guy in my last company, we had uh, a superfood drink as well, and he sold over a million dollars worth of that product every single month, okay? And and he really marketed, that was his only, really his only niche that he wanted to go after, and he did, he conquered it. You know, it took him a bit, but he never once called it a juice, and I was on a lot of his product calls, um, and one of the things he changed, he used to call it a juice, he said he, he had an extremely hard time selling any of that because, first of all, they've been around, Noni's been around, this has been around, Mango Seed's been around, right? All these uh, juice companies have been around, and so people relate price now, because you can go in and get a, the same amount of Noni, and it might be worthless Noni, but nobody knows that compared to the Keisha Noni product, and they're significantly different in price. One could be 12 bucks, the other one 60 bucks. All right? So you need to build value in the product. All right, let me just quickly go through because we're running a little past time. And so let me go through these. Guys, the capsules, for me, I love taking the powder out of the capsule and putting it into liquid. Here's why, and this leads me into my next thing I want to talk to you about and the reason why we're going to have liquid coffee and everything else is that liquid absorbs faster. Okay? It, the herbs overall take a little time to get into your system. And if you, for example, for me, when I take uh, any kind of capsules or any kind of powdered form or any kind of herb, I like to double dose it in my first couple days or so because I want it to get into my system. Because a lot of times when you, suddenly you went from eating this way to this way, your body will react and just throw a lot of it to weight. So we want to double up, absorb it into our body, <clears throat> do it properly. I like to take all my herbs with food. And so, but I love to stick chaga in a smoothie, gano in a smoothie, cordyceps in a smoothie, and so forth. Okay? And so, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that. <clears throat> anyway, so what we want to do um, with that, and I like to do, is take that and put it into liquid form. I love it because it, the absorption rate um, fast. And you guys will feel the difference. You should try it. And and so that with that said, now with cordyceps, and I think I mentioned this on another training call the other night, um, is that just be careful with cordyceps. Know your ingredients enough with all these products that we have. Make sure that if they are a very unhealthy person, if they're on any medication, this is where the interviewing process takes place, um, is that they should always you know, contact the doctor first. But for cordyceps, there is an ingredient in there that um, should not be taken by diabetes, people that have diabetes, okay? Because it does alter the sugar level. Now, some people will say, well, you, if you take Donald, will it just, um, will it, you know, offset that? Just don't do that. That's, you got to make sure that you're always being safe and make sure that the doctor approves that, hey, can I take cordyceps? with the medications that I'm on, especially with if you're on insulin or so, okay? And then the really cool thing, guys, is that chaga now is, and Gano has been for a while, but 
um, the Chaga now is in the Pitches and Desk reference, so that's really cool. And trust me, I had to look through that thing a million times. <laughs> it's always just sitting right there, and somewhere in the OR or wherever, or in the um, front desk where we can look things up, um, because you can't remember a million thousand drugs um, after school. So that's a really cool thing. Now, um, let me just move on to coffee. Now, guys, I'm just going to talk about a couple of things. But we do have a liquid coffee shot, which you can just add to ice or maybe add to water. You can do it hot. Um, so we do have that. And um, we have the only, and let me in emphasize this, guys. We, we're the only company that has infused coffee beans with these fungi. Or sorry, I should say for those of you that are new, the mushrooms, okay? The only one, so what does that mean? Well, we can, we can hit the market hard with that product because I don't know about you, but I love fresh ground coffee beans. I really do compared to instant. You know, I drink instant, there's instant in South Korea and everybody drinks it, like that, but I love something that's 100% organic and that tastes good. And, and we're the only one in the market that has a healthy coffee bean. Now, I think a lot, some people will ask some really funny questions. Like, there's one where somebody asks, well, how did they fuse it? That's a pretty good question. How did they fuse it? How did they fuse it? Uh, well, what I was told from Armand is that it's all um, naturally roasted together. There's no chemicals that are fusing that together. Okay? So everything's 100% organic. And then, of course, we have our Cafe Divina Latte as well. And so hopefully those copies will be coming out this week, hopefully. And and that's it. I don't want to talk too much about the other ones because I want to just really talk about the ones that um, uh, that we have available to us right now. And I know that um, these three are available to us at the moment. Okay? So let me stop sharing this for a second and then let me go over here. Um, sorry about that. And I'm going to open up some calls. Now, does anybody have any questions, guys? Yes, everybody? I do. Okay, yes, okay. I do. Yes. I'm a diabetic, and uh, I missed the point where you said about the cordyceps. Did you increase sugar level? Yeah, it can alter alternate sugar levels. So that's something that you might want to check with your doctor before you take course that. Okay. And and that goes and guys that goes and remember I'm not I I'm I and and I'm just giving you my personal advice, but I'm not a person to go to. You really have to go to your doctor for that. I'm just giving you something I already know uh, about um, the ingredients. Just so what I would do. And what, what is your name again? Noema. Noema. Uh, yeah, so just make sure you just check with your doctor before you take any of the products. Make sure it's okay. Even Gato, even Chaga, even though we all know Chaga is great for diabetics and it's been out there, it's been in the news and so forth, you should always personally check with you, though. Okay? Yeah, okay. 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 The other question is asked. My, um, my sister, she has breast cancer. She's taking the chemo. She take the chemo with the chaga. Again, I'm so sorry, but that's something that you would have to ask your doctor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I... Can I ask that? Sure, go ahead. Yeah, because I'm in the medical profession. Sure. Um, it's always good to consult with your doctor about um, taking any of these um, um, supplements, but they also need to know that you're on the supplement, especially if you're in a hospital or you go to the hospital. They need to know that you're on supplement. People often forget to let their medical professional know that they're taking supplements. So, yes, I, I, I do agree with you that she does need to check with her medical doctor um, and just let them know that, yes, yeah, she's doing supplements. Right. Good. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Because I, I know that every time we consult 
before we do surgery, and then we put the nice, you know, magic milk inside, and then we find out they're a drinker because it's not metabolizing right, right? And so, so that's absolutely correct. Just make sure that you tell them, and there's nothing to hide. Just say, yeah, I'm on this product called Gonoderma. You guys know it. That's what I'm taking, and it's okay. Yeah, but remember, guys, I'm not. I'm not here to medically consult anyone. I'm just here to go over the product. I'm here to just uh, give you some advice on how to talk about them better with customers. And my whole point that I want you guys to get out of this phone call tonight is to get away from being the expert because it's going to make it so much easier for you. You're going to sell a lot more product. And your process should just be really interview, get their needs, share them the benefit, close. That's the process, okay? And if you follow that process, you're going to always stay in the safe zone, and you won't find yourself talking hours and hours about trying to convince them about what it does, okay? Share your story. That's okay. Share your story. That's okay. You can share your story. That is that is uh, a given. You can do that. You have the right to, but you cannot ever relate that to, hey, this product right here right here, will give me the best math skills if I hold it to my ear. Does that, see how silly that sounds? Yeah, we can't do that. We can't do that. Okay? See, I wear this hat. This is my favorite hat, and I'm sure everybody's finding that out because I wear it everywhere. Okay? For, for a couple of reasons. My hair didn't grow back after my treatment very well. Okay? So I'm a little bit embarrassed about my hair. The second thing is, it's my favorite hat, but if I say, hey, this will help grow your hair back after chemo, you know, you got to buy this hat. I might sell a little bit, but it's not true, right? So we got to be very careful on what we say. So thank you for that. Anybody else have any questions? Are you guys excited or what's happening? Um, <laughs> absolutely. I got a, um... Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. So, so why don't we do this? Um, I want to, you know, I have so much more I want to talk about, but let's leave that for another, um, night. Okay? Um, I know a lot of people have to, um, get going. We've been here already 52 minutes, and I wanted to kind of keep this, uh, short. But if anybody else has any questions, just unmute them. Go ahead and ask. But remember, I'm not here to medically consult anybody. And I... And legally, I can't any way if I wanted to. <laughs> so anybody else? Anybody else? Any questions about selling or any ideas like that? Julie, could you please yes. repeat um, what you were saying about the four passes? Like, interview, get their needs, and then you said, like, a couple of other things? Yeah, so what you want to do is when you're talking about products, the first thing is you want to do is um, interview, okay? During the interview process, you're going to want to get what they call their, their needs, okay? And then through that, blending the process from there is that you're going to give them the benefit. People want to know benefit. They don't care about really how many things are in there and, and, and da 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 da, right? They don't like that. They want to know after you get their needs, what is it going to do for them, okay? That's where the benefits is going to become really powerful. And then after you do that, I, I said I, that's when you close the deal, ask for the sale. How many of them do you want? Okay. Don't ask questions like, don't ask questions like, so do you want to buy this today or, and then give them another option to bail out. No, I always say stuff like, well, how many of these do you want today? You want one or two? Okay. And. I mean, come on. I'm the only one. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Keisha. We're the only ones cheering. I, but I can't see anybody else, so maybe they are cheering. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. And so, guys, I'm going to call it a night. I did record this. Um, please get back with your uh, the person that sent you to this call tonight and uh, get the recording from them. Okay? Uh, I'm going to unmute everybody, and you guys all scream out, Vita Divina, and let's rock and roll. Vita Divina! 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 Vita